Dear viewers, welcome to Infer Insights, the channel where we unravel the mysteries of science, technology, business, and digital world. Our mission is to demystify complex digital topics and present them in a way that's accessible to everyone. Without further ado, let's dive into the content of today's video. Today we're diving deep into the fascinating realm of data and information. Have you ever wondered what exactly data is and how it transforms into the valuable information we use every day? Well, you're in for a treat because that's exactly what we'll explore in this video. What is data? How it evolved? But before we delve into the evolution of data, let's start with a mind-blowing fact. Did you know that every second we generate an astronomical amount of data? From the keys we press on our keyboards to the steps we take with our smartphones, data is being created constantly. However, the real magic happens when this data is refined and transforms into meaningful information. Let's examine the evolution of data from prehistoric times to the present day. Prehistoric Era Our journey begins in the prehistoric era, where our ancestors left their marks on cave walls and created simple tools. The first form of data was likely visual, with drawings and symbols representing their daily lives. For example, the Lascaux cave paintings in France provide a vivid glimpse into prehistoric life, capturing both the beauty of the natural world and the challenges faced by early humans. Another fascinating example comes from the Inca Empire, where quipus, intricate systems of colored, knotted strings, were used for record-keeping, including census data and resource management. Ancient Civilizations As civilizations emerged, so did more sophisticated methods of recording information. Ancient Mesopotamians used cuneiform writing on clay tablets, creating one of the earliest written forms of data. The Epic of Gilgamesh, etched into these tablets, serves as an enduring example of literature and historical documentation from this era. Medieval Manuscripts in the medieval period, monks meticulously transcribed knowledge onto manuscripts. These illuminated manuscripts were adorned with intricate illustrations, providing a glimpse into religious beliefs, scientific discoveries, and cultural practices of the time. The Book of Kells, a beautifully illustrated gospel book, is a prime example of data preservation during this era. The Printing Press Revolution Fast forward to the Renaissance, where Johannes Ktenberg's invention of the printing press revolutionized data dissemination. Now, information could be reproduced at a larger scale, making books more accessible to a broader audience. Shakespeare's first folio is a testament to the impact of the printing press on the preservation and dissemination of literary works. Industrial Revolution and Telegraph With the Industrial Revolution came advancements in communication. The invention of the telegraph allowed for faster transmission of information across long distances. The Morse code, a series of dots and dashes, served as the data language. The transmission of the first telegraph message in 1844 marked a pivotal moment in the evolution of data communication. After the telegraph, the world changed. It seemed as if information could flow like water. Birth of Computing the 20th century brought us the era of computers. On February 14, 1946, the world's first general-purpose electronic computer electronic numerical integrator and computer, ENIAC, was introduced to the world, processing data at an unprecedented speed. Punch cards, once used for textile looms, found a new purpose as a means of input for these machines. The transition from analog to digital data marked a significant leap forward. Internet Age In the latter half of the 20th century, the advent of the Internet changed everything. Information could be shared globally in seconds. Email, websites, and online databases became commonplace. The World Wide Web, with its vast array of interconnected data, became an integral part of our daily lives. The advent of computers transformed the way we handle data. Computers allowed us to store, analyze, and visualize data on an unprecedented scale. The rise of the internet and the development of social media have further accelerated the production and dissemination of data. Big Data and Artificial Intelligence Today, 
we find ourselves in the age of big data and artificial intelligence. Our smartphones, smart devices, and online activities generate immense amounts of data every second. Machine learning algorithms analyze this data, providing insights and predictions that were once unimaginable. The history of data is an ongoing story, continually shaped by technological advancements and the evolving needs of society. The journey from ancient inscriptions to the era of big data reflects humanity's constant quest to organize, understand, and leverage information for various purposes. Now that you've caught a glimpse of the essence of data, the upcoming introduction encourages you to join us on a journey into the fascinating world of information. What is information? Information is defined as knowledge gained through study, communication, research, or instruction. Essentially, information is the result of analyzing and interpreting pieces of data. Whereas data is the individual figures, numbers, or graphs, information is the perception of those pieces of knowledge. A simple example of how information is used in everyday life. When you go to a restaurant, you rely on information to make a decision about where to eat. You might look at online reviews, read menus, or talk to friends about their recommendations. This information helps you to narrow down your choices and make a decision about which restaurant is best for you. The key differences between data versus information. Data is a collection of facts, while information puts those facts into context. While data is raw and unorganized, information is organized. Data, on its own, is meaningless. When it's analyzed and interpreted, it becomes meaningful information. Data does not depend on information, however, information depends on data. Data isn't sufficient for decision-making, but you can make decisions based on information. Here are some daily use cases where information is derived from data. Example 1. Weather forecasting. Data from diverse meteorological sources, such as satellites, weather stations, and sensors, is used to generate weather forecasts. These forecasts include predictions for temperature, precipitation, wind speed, and atmospheric conditions, providing valuable information. People rely on this information to plan their daily activities according to the anticipated weather conditions. Example 2. Traffic management. Data from GPS, traffic cameras, and road sensors contribute to analyzing traffic patterns, congestion levels, and determining optimal routes. This analysis leads to enhanced traffic flow, decreased congestion, and more efficient transportation planning. Example 3. Energy consumption management. Data from smart meters, energy consumption patterns, and environmental elements contribute to insights into trends in energy usage, peak periods, and opportunities for enhancing efficiency. This leads to knowledgeable energy-saving behaviors, decreased expenses, and sustainable resource management. These examples illustrate how data can be transformed into valuable information, leading to informed decision-making and positive outcomes in various aspects of life. Thank you for watching. We hope you have learned and understood the importance of data and information in our day-to-day decision-making processes. We've got a plethora of exciting topics lined up, and we can't wait to share them with you. If you think this video is useful then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay connected with us.